<laughs> WOW presents Couples for Cash, the game show where couples get to share how much they know about each other. And for each correct match, our couple wins $10. <laughs> My name is Swan Thula Boulay, and I live in Los Angeles, California. I am Drag Mortar Boulay, and my empire is located in Los Angeles, California. The Boulay Brothers are Los Angeles' premier dynamic drag duo. We are queer tastemakers and nightlife provocateurs. We've known each other for a long time. The exact number of years is none of your goddamn business. Drac and I met years ago in New York City. We happened to cross paths in a fetish-themed restaurant where you could get a spanking and a steak. My first impression of her was that this is one dirty motherfucker. We know each other really fucking well. Like, I don't, there's no one that knows me better and absolutely no one on earth that knows him better than me. I think that I'm gonna get more correct answers than Swan because I am smarter than her. I think she'll do better because I am so mercur mercurial, I change my mind constantly. I'm ready to play. I want my $10. Let's begin. Let's play. Who takes longer to get into drag? She Me. does. Boop. I mean, just take a look. Just like today, I'm, I'm ready, I'm like tapping my heel. I'm like, we're gonna be late now. And you're like, <sighs> because halfway through I get tired and I feel like I have to take a nap. I think it's perfectly reasonable. You probably can't tell, but I just rolled my eyes at you, but since they're all red, you can't tell. Oh, are the coins, the coins. <laughs> we're rich. Oh God. Rich. What do we do next? <laughs> What's the hairiest part of your body? I would say my legs are the hairiest part of my body. Well, you better get that purse out because I said her lady legs. I just have to put on 500 pairs of hose and then it all goes away and it looks smooth and beautiful. I feel them up and down and I feel them <laughs> with my tongue. I love it. I'll have to say my legs. I said your chest. Mm. She's got some hairy memories, it's true, but you know, I, I go to great lengths to make sure no one else really knows that. Thank you. Well, Thank you for letting I'm them sorry. On. Let's just leave. <laughs> you each get a night with a different man. Which celebrity do you choose? Think hard, honey, even if it hurts. Thanks. <laughs> Shit, I didn't even think about that. Uh, well, her, of course. <gasps> Good answer. Good answer, but I think it was supposed to be somebody else. I would have to say Arnold Schwarzenegger from the Conan movies in the 80s. Bitch, can we get some extra? Because I said Conan the Destroyer, a.k.a. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yes! Yes! I think that's the only person we've ever talked about as being hot in a movie. <laughs> yeah, we don't, really, we don't really fangirl over anybody, honestly, but I think once upon a time back in the day, she told me about Arnold Schwarzenegger and we just never let it go. It's like the only <laughs> reference. So. 30 <laughs> years ago, let's be very clear. Post 1982, Arnold Schwarzenegger is a no. If it were a night of fantasy, I'm gonna take it another level and say Skeletor from He-Man. Some 80s jock person? Kind of, right? <laughs> kind of close, the right era, but I don't know about that. Who would die first in a horror movie? I her. would. I know she likes getting her pussy murdered, so Ooh. I think she'd be the first to go. Guilty as charged. I would just kill them off first, that way I know I'm gonna live, duh. The truth is, I don't really believe that I would die first, but I knew that she would say that, so I'm playing and I'm playing to win. <laughs> <laughs> yes! yes. Just sitting here. If you were a cannibal, what would your favorite body part to eat be? The brain. I don't know. It seems like the thing to eat if you were <laughs> going to eat someone. I also heard if you eat their brain, then you absorb all their intelligence. That's what she's heard in her ritualistic cannibal circles that she's well, hanging out in. I unfortunately said the heart because she doesn't really have one of her own. <gasps> she would want to snatch up somebody. Dare you! <laughs> I would say the cheeks. So did I. <laughs> Sometimes when we're relaxing in bed, she will turn over and bite me on the fucking cheek. And I don't mean on my ass cheek, I mean on my face cheek. I like the cheeks because they're soft and you can just imagine sinking those teeth in and just ripping it apart. Pull it right away. 
I wouldn't do it to you. I thought it was cute. <laughs> if you had to start over in drag, what would your name be? Boquita. Fuck! Oh, I should have known Boquita, god damn it. <laughs> Little known fact, we actually have an army of alternate drag personas. It's true. We'll go out secretly as these characters and nobody knows it's us. Like these bootylicious ghetto girls and like we'll totally yes. do the whole nine and no one will know it's us. And we go and we turn up and we almost get arrested and we have Almost a every day. time. It only happens about once a year because yes. really we can't uh, afford that kind of bailout. I actually didn't say Boquita, I said Queen Kong. We use Queen Kong as a party name but that almost could have been my alternative drag name. It's true. I think we still won, technically. <sighs> we know that we did. It it's, doesn't really matter. We know we won, exactly. and as usual, that's all that matters. That's right. We're winners, damn it. My drag character's name would be Holly Shit. Holly Shit? I said Cherry something. Oh, God. Like I said, we have too many other alternate drag personas. That would have been a hard one for us. This could have been one of them. <sighs> We failed again! I really need you to win this one for me, okay? Please don't fuck this up. <laughs> What's your weirdest getting into drag ritual? Usually before I get ready or before we go out on stage, I will sing Ethel Merman very loud to get ready, get in the mood, and to practice my voice so it's nice and loud when we go on stage. Voice exercises, specifically Ethel Merman. I had Spell a dream, it. a dream about you, baby. <laughs> it's gonna come true, baby. That's enough for now. You'll have to subscribe to our new YouTube channel if you want to see the rest of that. Okay. We want Not followers. Free. We don't want to scare them. Shut away. up. Playing really strange music while we're getting ready. I said her nose highlight. My nose highlight? What the fuck about my you nose You always, always, always have this thing about your nose highlight. And mine too. You come over and do it to me if I don't do it. <laughs> it finishes everything. You look good. Doesn't she look good? It's she looks damn good. Weird. And a lot of that has to do it's with that weird. fucking highlight. Yeah. It's not even a ritual. It's just how you do your beat. You failed again. But we did get the Ethel Merman one. You got to see that. It was true. good. That's true. That was good. What one thing would people be surprised to learn about you? You might be... Surprised to know that I can sing very well. I chose to go with something of substance, something that might actually mean something. She's sensitive when she's not taking over. <laughs> I am not. Next question. <laughs> this bitch is a liar. You know, in the same vein of what she answers, I'm gonna say that I could wrap my ass off. Close, I said you could dance. Mm, damn it. That's true too. Though. People don't know that you can dance and she can really tear it up, like for real. We do have some drag skills. Yeah, they just think of us as these mouthy evil crones on the stage. Which is fine. Which, Which she is enjoys, fine. and I do too from time to time. If you were a serial killer, how would you kill people? It would be my signature move, force choke. I said, with her bare hands, as brutally as possible. Guilty as charged. I fucked that one up. <laughs> I would kill them with my claws. I said force choke for her too. Oh God. God! Wrong again. Well, I do enjoy that anyway. I would love to force well, choke. Well, I know, that's what we always force choke talk the about. fuck out of a lot of people around mm -hmm. here. Describe yourself using the name of a horror movie. Attack of the 50 Foot Woman. I thought my answer was much more appropriate and descriptive. Psycho. <laughs> All right, I see how we're playing this game. So that Can I change best? my answer to Gremlins? <laughs> um, Trilogy of Terror, you know that little troll? Can I change mine to that? Oh my God, Leprechaun in the Hood. <laughs> children of the Corn, I don't oh know. Oh my God, I love Children of the Corn. I'm gonna say, Child's play. I said death becomes her. Oh, I love you for that. See, I thought you would. I do. I still love you anyway. Well, mm. We might have lost, but at least we love each other a little more. You win $20. Yes. $20, 10 for you and yes. 10 for me. Maybe we can each get one small coffee. Maybe. Thanks. 
I thought we did really well. I think we did pretty well. I mean, like I said, we change our mind often. We're always talking and thinking about new things. So a lot of our inspirations change from moment to moment. Are you